That our ABC 7 I team uncovers the risks to fast cash. Our I team warning there is little legal recourse if you happen to send money to the wrong person using those payment apps. Investigative reporter Jason Knowles is here now with what he's uncovered. Jason. Alan, $1,700 gone with the press of a button. It happened to one man using a payment app. Now the I team is asking if banks are doing enough to protect consumers from quick money mistakes. Those super fast payment apps are replacing cash and checks and making it easier than ever to pay your friends, family, and even some businesses. So this is pretty fast and easy. All I have to do is put in the person's name, then put in their phone number and the dollar amount. I type it in, send the money, it is gone. Irving Padilla of Logan Square uses Chase Bank's Quick Pay. Yeah. It's so convenient. He recently sent a friend $1,700, or so he thought. I kept telling him, did you finally get it? On my end, it says, did you received it? And they said, no, we haven't received anything. I made a mistake of putting a wrong number. Instead of a 244, I put a 224. And with that, that's it. I lost my money. Padilla said he called the cell phone number that he transferred the money to, but the person didn't return his calls. Then he asked Chase for help. They did the courtesy email, the person never replied, so that's it. Padilla says the Chicago police had him file this non-criminal report and told him that it isn't a crime for the wrong person to keep the cash. If you cash a check that's not yours, you're breaking the law. Correct. That's a federal offense. That's bank fraud. But in this case, if the money goes in your account... That's tough to say. That's a, it's a loophole. Right? You're lucky. Correct. When you electronically send money from your account electronically to somebody else, where they don't really have to certify or verify they are that person, it becomes an issue because there's really nothing criminally law enforcement and a prosecutor can do. Zelle is the company behind more than 25 banks' e-payment systems, including Chase's Quick Pay. We asked them if there should be a verification by the recipient, like an electronic signature. But in a statement, Early Warning Services, the company that developed Zelle, stated, we are working hard to address situations involving payments that are sent to unintended recipients. For example, we are introducing new features that include displaying the first name of the person with whom an email address or mobile phone number is associated. And they remind senders to double check the mobile phone number or email address they are using to send the money and alert them that once the money is sent, it cannot be revoked. It was $1,720. Yeah, so it's a lot of money. Chase Bank told the I-Team there will be a verification improvement in September. They also added, we always work with the customer to try to recover their money. Consumers should always double check that they've typed in exactly the correct phone number or email. We then show them that information on their screen and remind them that the money cannot be retrieved once we send it. There's something and the system that needs to be fixed. Besides filing a civil suit against the person who received your money, there's nothing people like Padilla can do. It is a huge loophole where, in effect, we have not caught up with technology. On any payment app, experts suggest talking to the intended recipient of the payment immediately before and seconds after sending the money. Or send a small amount, like $1, to confirm it is the right person. If you receive money through an app mistakenly, you can usually return it using the phone number of the sender. And by the way, Chase Bank gave our consumer $800 back as a courtesy, hmm. but some good news for him. Some. Yeah. Some, right. Yeah. <laughs> a lot to keep in mind, that one simple mistake. Yeah. One button. Yeah. All right. Payment Thanks, for Jason. convenience. Yeah. Wow. All right, Jason. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.